Hello guys, really excited about today's video and it is a PlayStation 3 fix and I'm really excited about this because I was stuck on this for a very long time, couldn't get my PS3 working and this will fix the update loop so if it's stuck on 99% this will fix it and also if you've got a black screen when you turn your PS3 on this will fix it as well. Yes, so this means you have a corrupt hard drive and you need to get a new one. If you call up Sony, they will say you need to pay $175 or so to get it shipped around the world. So um, what I'm doing now is flipping the PS3 over. You'll need to unscrew that, which is a blue little screw. And um, you, might, you might be getting scared that um, you need to disassemble your PS3, but don't get scared because it's easy and it's guaranteed to work. I mean, a corrupt hard drive is not normally easy to fix, but I've found an easy solution to do this. So unscrew that and rip that little piece of plastic off, which you will be able to put back on. So just pull it out. Simple, simple stuff here. You'll pull out your hard drive and it'll have a little metal casing on it. So um, the normal PS3 hard drive will normally look like this. So that's corrupt. Might as well throw that away and Never look at it again. That was most likely your cause of pain and it would have been your cause of pain. So this is how to fix it. Go ahead, buy a new hard drive down at a shack or something. There's, there's guaranteed to be shops around you that sell this sort of stuff. So um, it could just be a little uh, home owned shop. So go ahead, buy one of them, about 50 bucks for a 320 gigabyte one. You don't want to get anything over 700 gigabyte or else it won't work. And here you see me screwing out the screws of the metal casing. So this is, again, easy, easy stuff, guys. So just unscrew them all. And um, the type of hard drive you're going to need is a 2.5 inch SATA drive. So SATA drive and about 320 gig. Really cheap, 50 bucks. And um, it's easy, easy stuff. So then the hard drive will just slot out simple and um, that will normally be your old hard drive so that's that would be corrupt and not working so you've got to buy a new one it'll be in this packaging if it is not in this packaging do not buy it or else it will probably have already been used so um, make sure it's in the packaging and get out your new hard drive like this and shove it in face down which is that side so just that side down into your hard drive case simple like that and um, re-tighten up the screws so um, that's easy stuff that's 320 gigabyte make sure you get 320 or 500 gigabyte and then just re-screw the screws back on alright guys so after this you will need to format it but that's easy stuff and for now, we're just going to get the new hard drive in the casing and put it back in the PS3. So this will make it good as new if you um, you have a faulty hard drive and it is so easy and it will save you a lot of pain. Just slot it in like that. Back in. And there you go, brand new PS3. So just slot in the um, blue screw right there. So now you'll have to go ahead and download the firmware, which is like the software for PS3. So look up PS3 4.41 update or whatever type of PS3 version it's up to. And um, click on the official PlayStation website one, because that's the one you can trust, you know. So we'll just let that load. Here we are, official PlayStation and... Um, that, that's the one we want, 4.41, it, it should look a little bit like that, and it will, so just click on it, and download. Here we go, right there, so just accept, whatever, and download. So this could take about an hour, depending on the file size or your internet. So now you're going to have to put it on a USB, so just go ahead and you'll need to do these folders as I am now. So PS3, make sure this is all you have on your USB, so name it PS3 Capitals, and then Update, and then inside the update you'll put the PS3 Update.pub without the E, so make sure it's all spelled like this or else it will not work. 
So now you just plug in the PS3 as you normally would, plug all the cables in and um, turn it on as you normally would. So this is a brand new PS3. It's not going to come up now because I've already done it, but it will come out with a format thing like you need the correct format for your hard drive. So don't worry about that. Insert your USB and then it'll come up with a prompt that says hold start and select for five seconds. And once you do that, it'll format it completely with the 4.41 update. So um, it'll be done, Not no update loop. So don't worry about that. This will fix the update loop and the corrupt hard drive. So that's, that's still the one thing really. The corrupt hard drive leads to the 99% freeze and the black screen. And uh, it might lead to a couple more, so I'm not sure. But this is one of the main internal issues with the PS3 because the firmware is not strong enough to um, get over 99 so that's a problem with Sony and um, there's nothing you can do about it so you'll need to buy a new um, hard drive and it'll be working good as new and um, it you may have noticed before it would have been laggy maybe and it will come up with come up with um, lines at the back there and they will stay like that for five minutes so this will fix all lag and it's almost like an update. You update your PS3 and you can get a larger hard drive space. So mine's 320 gigabytes. It was updated from 60 gigabytes, so it will hold more space. And then you'll be able to play whatever game you want and sign up again. So that's about it guys. Just a couple of important notes. This will erase all data on your PS3, so get rid of, it will get rid of all the campaign data and shit like that but you will still have all your online data, which is all you need. So you got all your friends and, um, I don't know, COD stuff, if you would like to play COD, I don't know, I got it. And um, then you have another important note, don't buy the hard drive if it is not sealed in a bag like that. Harass it will more than likely have already been used and will not work. That's just my guess. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It certainly helped me out and I can, I really hope it does help you guys out. This, I, d I just went ahead and discovered this myself about the hard drive, so um, it's simple, simple stuff. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and goodbye.